Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. So if you guys want to hear my thoughts about this little guy, then keep watching. Before I start this video, I just want to let you guys know that I received this from Influencer in my Oasis Box box. If you guys saw the unboxing, you would know that. If you didn't, that will be linked down below. But that isn't changing my opinions on it, if I like it or if I hate it. Just because I got it for free, I got it to test out and tell you guys my opinion on it. So when I first got this, I was very, very nervous to try it because I've heard mixed reviews on it. I've heard people say they like it and I've heard people say that they hate it. So, I was kind of conflicted on this product because I wanted to buy it after I heard a really good review and then I heard a really bad review and they said they hated it. So, I was like, alright, I'm not going to get it. But I think this is kind of expensive for a drugstore. I think it's like almost $10, but it is one fluid ounce. And I think the packaging is really nice for a drugstore and I'm giving it extra bonus points because of the pump. I really like it because of the pump. This foundation has vitamins in it and there's SPF of 20. I think there's vitamins E, B3, and B5. So this foundation is a lightweight, full coverage foundation. The formula hydrates and includes a complex of SPF 20, vitamins, and antioxidants, and it is oil free. I have the shade 725 buff beige the shade is way too light for me i'm not wearing it right now because i'm too tan um for reference i'm wearing the milani perfect conceal and perfect two in one foundation in warm beige i should have gotten a warm color i just didn't know how tan i was going to get this summer honestly that's, that's just why i didn't get a tan or a uh, pick a darker color do i like this foundation yes i really 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 do like it it looks really nice on my skin if you watched my get ready with me i use that foundation in that tutorial this foundation doesn't um ox oxidize on me which was one reason why i was a little skeptical because i did hear it oxidize on some people and it doesn't make me get oily it makes me look super dewy but i like that it has a really nice natural finish it's not at all matte but it's not dewy in my opinion i don't think it's full coverage I think that one to two ish pumps is like a medium, t yeah, a medium uh, finish. And then if you do three pumps, then it's full coverage. I normally do two pumps because three pumps is a lot. It also might be because I use a damp sponge when I apply my foundation. I don't know. I will say that this is long lasting and it doesn't cake up in any areas. Yes, it does crease under my eyes, but that I feel like is expected. The two downsides for me personally is this sticks to dry patches like crazy. So I don't really know if this is going to be like my ideal winter foundation just because that's when I do get a lot of dry patches. It's definitely not good when you have a peely face from sunburn um because it clings and it makes those dry patches look so obvious and horrible and this also has a very weird smell and it might be because of the vitamins because i know vitamins have a gross smell see i don't smell it now because it's not on the back of my hand but i don't know to me it almost feels like soapy but yeah, it just has a weird smell, but it blends out so nicely. I mean, this is just like a swatch. It's very, very light, as you can tell, on the back of my hand. And then this is what it looks like when you buff it all out. Can't really tell, but it looks really nice on the skin. You can kind of see where it is way lighter on my hand, obviously, because... It's really light. So this, like I said, is going to be a really good, probably fall transitioning into winter foundation for me. I'll let you guys know. But overall, I really do like this foundation. I would recommend it if you've been wanting to try it. Like I said, there are a lot of mixed reviews and it works for me. And just because it works for me, it may not work for you exactly, but give it a try. It won't hurt. And that 
that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up and hit that red button down below to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my social media. That's always linked down below in the description box. If you guys have any video suggestions on what videos you would like to see me film next, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you just want to leave a comment saying, hey, please do that too. I love getting your comments. And that is all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!